How are you doing tonight? I'm okay. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Got to get my two bits in here. Great work y'all doing down there in AZ. Go Green Dream Project. Thank you so much, Clazy. Now, before you were saying that you were not feeling so hot. Are you still not feeling hot or are you feeling okay? Feeling or are you feeling okay or are you okay. not so good? I don't feel bad. You don't feel bad? No. Okay, well, that's good. I had a headache before. Has it gone away? Yeah, it's gone. Nice. It's the little things. Built on the Rock Home said says hit 90 degrees today. Hot. Hasn't quite gotten that hot yet. Has it? It's kind of touched it, hasn't it? It got close. Got close, but has not hit that. What was it high today? It's been like mid 80s, right? Mm -hmm. Too hot for crew anyway. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I think the heat's taking a little wind out of uh, his sails. He's not. He hasn't been as crazy. You can tell. You can tell when it's getting warmer. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, Crew's been having some issues. I don't want to talk to you about his issues. You know, it's personal. I don't want to get it's into Crew's personal. personal medical history. <laughs> but I think he's been having some stomach issues. Yeah. Wait. Well, seems uh, better this afternoon. Was he? Might be a little bit. Maybe. But we might have to pick up some pumpkin or something for him. Something to sell the stomach. What do we got in here? Sissy, see the whole truth? What happened to using the truck to haul dirt to the house build? Well, that's a good question. That's a good question. Um, I like the truck idea. Uh, my only problem with it is that I could really only do it once. Otherwise, then it takes too time to fill up the whole thing again. In the meantime, we're not filling bags. And you like to be constantly moving? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and plus, like, I don't know how well the water gets mixed in with the dirt when there's that much dirt. Um, so I'm thinking just shorter, quick intervals, get the cart, get the wheelbarrow filled, move that around. And, uh... Hey, Dragon Clan! Dragon Clan, what's up? Andy's Tennessee Life and Homestead. Hey, y'all can stay on, but wanted to say, hey, hey Andy, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. It's got, see, uh, Dino over here asks, uh, is scaffolding possibly in the future? And... I don't know if we'll get like traditional scaffolding. My my thinking with the scaffolding is that it'll be, you know, this kind of straight up and down platform, and it'll be difficult, if not impossible, to work from as we get higher. Would you concur with that? Uh, you're 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 the you're the wall worker for the most Unless part. Unless we somehow could get it to inside, it might be easier. But then we got. The weird thing going on with the floor is uneven on the inside. Yeah, you be meaning the right around the floor. <laughs> uh, the OSB. Yeah, right around the OSB, so, right? Yeah. <laughs> Not that there's weird things going on with the <laughs> OSB that makes it a, uh, difficult no, to work there's from. there's just a gap. A giant around the gap edges. around the edges. Matthew says, all you need is drywall stilts, yo. Loco, what's up? Benz, Omega Royal, Desert Living Homestead, how are you doing? Oh, if you had, Omega Royal ask, if you had to choose one type of construction machine, what would it be? Like an excavator, a loader, a backhoe? Uh, I think... Well, maybe like an elevator or like a tractor, maybe with a like a backhoe attachment. That could be helpful. Like down the road, not just with our projects here, but. 
what with the projects down the road yeah. that we have plans for. We have a plan to build a solar power. Well, we do have a solar set up already. Um, mm -hmm. I yeah. Don't, I don't know or if 100... we're going to do more. 100 cup. 100% solely on solar power. Yeah, so far that's that's all we need. That's all we need. No plans to add more. If anything, we're going to be reducing our needs, if that's what we're talking about. Affordable Desert Living, how's the girls going, Dan? Need a... <laughs> Six foot diameter circular saw. <laughs> there you go. Justin says, I'm so happy to finally get to join your live. You two are awesome. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> so we're gonna get a crew some pumpkin. Uh, maybe. Let's see. We'll see. How he does. Uh, You're saying he's doing better this afternoon. I what, think so. What leads you to say, to say that? I'm just curious because I haven't heard about this myself. You think he's doing better? Yeah. Okay. Like after, after he ate his dinner, I thought he might have an upset stomach, but it didn't seem like it. It didn't but, stop him from wanting to eat, did it? No. <laughs> but it takes a lot for him to not want to eat. True. True. What finish are you going to have on the inside? Haven't fully decided that. Might have like a couple finishes, mm -hmm. actually. Maybe mm -hmm. one more of an earthen plaster. And then um, maybe for like kitchen, bathroom areas, more of a lime plaster with a more waterproof finish. Affordable, affordable desert living. Uh, no, you, you have to get a, a professional to do the uh, perk test. Uh, someone has to do the soil test. Other, yeah. No getting around that. Is the interior just going to be wide open where you have different rooms, walls, etc.? It will. They'll be divided. They'll be divided. Uh, like uh, the. The East Dome, which we haven't even started yet, will be like the kitchen and bathroom. And you want walls <laughs> between those places. Yeah. Like, you don't want... If you're cooking, you don't want people seeing you doing your business. And then... Um, I don't think and, it'll be too complicated. but maybe like... And the, the West Dome, it'll be pretty much open, except we might divide off an area that you might use for like an office. Uh, Don, that was um, Raul from Mesquite SNS Excavation. Based out of, uh, hmm, what was he based out of? I think it was Hereford. 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 Uh, Paul wants to know what's up with the giant turd behind us. Well, it's a long story, but uh, <laughs> it was a gift. it's basically a gift from friends. You know, they couldn't contribute necessarily to our humanure pile directly so they got this Hugh Manure. Hugh Manure. That's his name. We had an updated name, didn't we? Well you were pushing for uh pushing for oh, Mr. Mr. Poobody. Poobody. What do you guys like? What should be the official <laughs> name? Hugh Manure or Mr. Poobody? What do you guys like? Robin says we can't can't wait to see you complete the first dome. We can't either. Oh my goodness, it's crazy. Did you? Well, we didn't think it was gonna take this long, did we? It's like we started in January. We we're thinking we might be done with it by now, right? Yeah. Did you hear that breath? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> That's exhaustion leaking out. <laughs> Uh, man, it has been tough. I think we've been trying to get uh, two courses done a week, but 
Lately, it seems like we've been only getting like one course done a week. Isn't that, yeah. that accurate? I feel like it's starting to get faster, though. Yeah, I think it's starting to get faster. Uh, and some just circumstances beyond our control. Like, uh, the wind has just been terrible. Oh, the wind's yeah. been holding us back a lot. Yeah. And I really don't feel too steady up on that wall with strong winds. Yeah. And the higher up we go, the worse that's just going to be. You know? Yeah. Even we'll get like, a slight breeze and be like, hang on! <laughs> <laughs> like, even moderate winds, like, it really slows me down because i got to be careful like, stepping around there. Poopy doop. <laughs> Poopy doop. <yeah. laughs> that, wasn't, that wasn't me. Uh, Sandy says, I sometimes wet my plants. Uh, there oh, it is. Can yeah. you see it up there? Sometimes I wet my plants. Yeah, people, uh, people are coming up with some pretty interesting names here. <laughs> Don says he's tired of all this wind. It's been crazy. Yeah, yeah uh, Justin says, safe, be safe, take your time. And I think that's kind of like the way we're going with it. Okay. You don't rush up there. Yeah. Well, the other day, you kind of, you were pushing. And I was like, whoa. But, uh, I mean, you well, always it take... It wasn't windy that day. It wasn't windy. But you always take your time. You're always double checking and measuring, and you don't do anything up there that you feel like come unsafe with. Right, and I think too because it's our first time building a house or building <laughs> a, an earth bag dome, so we want to make sure we do a good job. So, you know, we're taking our time. I think, uh, yeah, I think. Uh, with the work you're doing up there, it's just fantastic, looking really good. And uh, people are no people are noticing the curve, starting oh, to curve yeah, in. It. It's getting exciting. When is this? Yeah, when is this wind gonna chill out? When does the wind usually stop? It usually stops like just before the rainy season, right? So it's like we'll probably have wind for the next couple months, and then when July hits. Then, uh, then all, down a all, little bit. And then all the rain. <laughs> then all the rain. Uh, I, I can't wait till we start planting more things and maybe we can plant a windbreak. Some relief. Loco asked, did y'all decide what tree to plant yet? Mm. Do we? Well, I kind of have my ideas. Yeah. Do you have your ideas? I think so. Do you want to share those or are you keeping it, you keeping it close to the vest? I think we're going to wait because... Well, I'll tell you, we might have ideas, but we are going to visit, I think, a local nursery, right? Yeah. There's a nursery not too far away. We haven't actually been there yet. We've been to one nursery just down the road, but um, it would be the first time visiting this nursery, and she is excited. She's like, I don't know if we can make that trip because oh, I need the whole day. <laughs> might come day back, day. might come back with more than just a couple of trees. <laughs> JS, how are you going to get hot water to the dome? That's a good question. Uh, well, we're just getting water to the dome, and then we'll have we'll have a little hot water. I think I'm just like going to put in like a small. What I'm thinking of is just a small hot water tank that's like right at the point of use it's like made for like rvs and we'll just have it right feeding right into the kitchen so i'll have a pump down in our root cellar it'll pump it up to uh, the bathroom and the shower and that's where oh wait no not the kitchen the bathroom that's where we'll have the hot water right yeah because the kitchen you're thinking we won't need hot water for that i mean we don't really use hot water in our kitchen now we haven't and it's for just been years. Yeah. But yeah, I don't want to be taking cold shower. <laughs> <laughs> in winter. In the winter. But sometimes <laughs> cold showers so in the summer is nice. I've done that. Like it's really hot outside. You get in the shower, right? You turn the, the water on. And if you don't have the heat, it's cold. And like at first, it's like a shock to the system. It's like, <gasps> <laughs> but then it feels really good. <laughs> Simon asks, why not rammed earth? Ooh, that's a good question. Well, we thought about it. Uh, you know, it's a cousin to 
earth bag. Mm -hmm. Basically very similar. Difference between, um, you know, like rammed earth and earth bag, of course, is like, well, once you're done with rammed earth, you're done. But the problem is you need that up. Well, like once you've rammed the earth. Oh, right. That's it. You don't have to put any kind of like. Yeah. Like you have to cover the bags. Exactly. Exactly. But but usually with rammed earth, it takes. You need a form. You need forms. That gets removed. So basically you kind of cast your walls. Mm -hmm. Then. With the bags, the bags act as the form. And you also need kind of like a cement. Um, rammed earth will weather very quickly if it's not stabilized. Oh, right. And, and again, earth bag is like the mechanical yeah, it holds it substrate together, for the soil. So you don't have to have as much stabilization or you don't need like an exact mix. But I mean, benefits of rammed earth, I mean, you can make a, like a square house. People love square houses. And it looks beautiful. Yeah, the, that earth, that exposed earth looks fantastic. Yeah, you can see all the like layers. But you do need a lot more cement, and cement is something that we're trying to use less of out here if we can. And we want to try a dome. so Roofing, that's another thing you got to consider. Um, yeah, you need to, still need a decent sized roof to cover up the, the walls. The bigger the roof, on something like that, the better. Otherwise, you'll see a lot more weathering. Uh, the Mindful Homestead showed up. Hey, how's it going? Oh, hey. We're doing pretty good out here. Hope you guys are doing well. With all the thermal mass, what do you think the house temps will range? Oh, do you have a, an estimate? I don't. I don't. But I am eager mm -hmm. to find out. Now, from what, from what we've been told, and we don't even have first-hand experience at this, a friend of ours built, uh, what size is her dome? 12 foot diameter, 12 foot interior diameter dome, right? Yep. And she said during the summer, the most you would need is like a fan, just to kind of move the air around. Now, at the time when she was living there, she came from a very hot climate. So over here, this was very mild to her <laughs> at the time. So I don't know. Um, so we'll find out just how well, and it's just an earth bag dome, smaller, smaller earth bag dome. But we have a lot of plans to not only, ours will have a lot more thermal mass. Yeah, the walls are a lot thicker. And we might add straw bales as well. So we'll see. Now her one complaint about the, or her one, not complaint, but one thing that she cautioned with the earth bag is that it will get cold in the winter. Well, the thing is like if, if the temperature is able to drop low enough and the walls like can't absorb enough heat yeah then it takes it longer to heat up again but we're so hoping a disadvantage like, of the thermal mass possibly well if the <laughs> walls are thick enough that might not happen might not be an issue so yeah we'll, we'll find out because I don't, I don't think I've ever, I don't, I'm sure there are people out there that have walls as thick as ours, but I don't know any firsthand that can yeah. tell me how that well, is. Well, I'm sure we'll document that. We'll document that. We'll, sure. we'll let everyone know. Uh, oh, why did we just go with Earth Bay? It's horrible. <laughs> horrible idea. Don't mm. do it. Knock it all down. Uh, Junior asks, are the gutters fully installed now? No. Now, we didn't get uh, any further than what you've seen in the video. <laughs> uh, I said I got the boards up, but... Uh, You're kind of slowly chipping away at that slowly project. Slowly getting that in together. Things. Actually, your rocket stove should keep you very warm. That's what we're, the, oh, that's yeah. what we're hoping for. So that's just kind of the insurance to uh, keep us warm in the winter, a little rocket stove. Best case scenario, will you be done before the heat of July and August this summer? I, I, well, the first dome we will be. I think I could confidently say we'll be done with this dome by then. Yeah, maybe not the, the full house, though. Oh, we definitely won't have the full house done. <laughs> we won't have the other uh, dome done, but... 
I think we'll we'll definitely have this one done, which will be a nice retreat during the rain and the monsoon season and the heat. The mindful homestead asks, "What will you? What will the upkeep be like on the exterior? Will you have to reapply your finished surface? Will you have to be putting anything over the cob?" Uh, good question. It if it was just cob, it would weather pretty fast, especially without a roof. But we uh, were talking about adding vines. Yeah, we're thinking of experimenting a little bit with that to see if maybe we don't need to do something more weatherproof. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're talking about putting straw bales over the earth bags and then plastering over those. And then, you know, if that needs to be replaced, that's fine because we can just reuse the straw bales and then possibly like having vines kind of go over and protect it a little bit from, you know, getting washed away too much. Or putting that protective uh, coat over that DIY solar homestead. Uh, oh, thank thank you. you so much. I want to help with the gutters. Well, that... So cool. Yeah, very nice. That will definitely help okay. out with the gutters. <laughs> much appreciated. Very generous. Thank you. We need, a, we need to do a lot of cobbing. Right now our bags have, bags have been exposed and they've been exposed for a while. I've been thinking about having a cobbing party. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Invite some people over and play in the mud. <laughs> Richard Solomon asks, can you do a living, a living dome? Is that a, th a living dome? <laughs> that's kind of what you're talking about with the vine. Yeah, it's a... It won't be growing right out of the... Yeah. That's I think that's kind of like the difference. It's like, well, it won't be growing right out of the dome. It'll just be kind of growing around the dome. I guess I was thinking, like, that might take a little bit to keep things growing, like, water-wise. Um, and I... Kind of, I think there's a book I was reading where they were talking about that and they lived in a, a drier climate, so they kind of shied away from that. But I thought vines might be good because we can grow them from the ground and uh, they might be more protected from evaporation, but it would still cover that. I like that kind of idea of having like a living roof sort of thing, but all in our climate might be a little too dry for that. I guess, yeah, like, man, if you think about like all the uh, sun and wind we get, <sighs> the top of that dome would dry quick. <laughs> be watering that thing all day long. <laughs> yeah. Beach life, how's it going? Well, DIY Solar Homestead, uh, you get some rest and uh, have a good night. It's a, definitely an early morning for you. You two have a wood burning stove. We're, we're gearing toward a rocket mass heater. But I haven't ruled out like a wood burning stove. Like if the uh, plans for the rocket mass heater don't quite work out. I was thinking we could always maybe use the wood burning stove. What do you think? Uh, I suppose. I was thinking for cooking, too, could do a, a rocket stove or a cob, like, oven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Rebel with a kickstand. Thank you so much oh, for the super chat. You. Amazing. <laughs> thank you so much for that. Hobbit House. So would you be a would you what are your thoughts of the uh, possibly going doing with the uh oh my goodness crazy <laughs> to go along with DIY so I get for the gutters. <laughs> wow, thank you so much for that. Uh I'm beside myself over here. You guys are blowing me away. <laughs> Andrew, how's it going? Going good.
Um, so what got into you the other day? The other day you were just rocketing around that dome. Nonstop. This lady was like the Terminator. I just wanted to get it done. And uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I think the weather makes a difference. It wasn't windy for a change. So I felt more comfortable moving around up there. Now, the cool thing is, um, now that we're at the height that we're at, you can actually make your entire way around the entire circumference um, of the uh, of the dome, eh? Yep. Now, yeah, sometimes you got to jump over some of the forms or one of the forms, but otherwise you can just pretty much walk around. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Justin says, I would love to see more about your bees. Well, fortunately, oh. we, had, we had to get rid of our bees. Yeah, that was sad. Yeah. Um, but they went to a good home, a local beekeeper. They're pretty aggressive, and we just didn't have the time to take care of them as they should. Yeah. So we contacted a local beekeeper. You know, we had our issues with bee removal services before but this guy came picked up the bees no problem we just gave him that oh, whole geez. we just yeah. gave him that whole <laughs> yeah, uh bee box right remember the brobies yeah. uh we just he just picked up the whole box sealed it up took him away and we even bought a queen because you were going to try and requeen it yeah in but, case uh, they were africanized which they probably were i'm sure they were because they were pretty aggressive um but i like to try again. Um, it's probably not going to be this year, but uh, I'd like to try a different type of hive design that might make it easier. Oh, yeah. Because I think that was an issue, that hive that we had. Um, it was kind of hard to work with. I think technically it was like, you can, I think you can work with a top bar hive, but for the most part, isn't it almost like you just kind of maybe want to like leave those? Um, I don't know about that. No. I guess I was just thinking of uh, this one guy who did bees, and he pretty much just kind of like had a hands-off approach. He just left a couple of hive boxes out there and oh, just let them do their business. Talking about Julie? Yep. <laughs> Pat Smith, thank you so much. $10 oh, super you, chat. Nice. Oh. Are you worried about the arches collapsing? Now I am. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no, uh, no. Uh, um, because well, we have we have done this before on a smaller project to see how that worked with an arch, and it worked. It works. But, it holds well. Uh, the thing is, uh, we're trying different arches with the dome. They're more pointed for the larger openings, which might be important because that helps to keep them from collapsing. So, um, and that the fan bags are important to prevent that too. Kind of locks it in, kind of like a, a stone archway would be. It has those and it has a keystone at the top. Very strong. Yeah. Arizona High Desert Homestead, $10 oh, super chat. Thank you. Oh you my goodness. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, and I know a lot of times when uh, people are doing like super adobe, a lot of time when you're going over forms like that, they'll add like a little cement in the mix to make it stronger. I think with the fan bags, I don't think we'll need that. I think those that'll make an incredibly strong arch support. But you'll see firsthand if it uh, doesn't work out, you know, <laughs> yes. and the whole building collapses. <laughs> Bill Neal. Hi, y'all. Hey, what's up, Bill? Hey, Bill. Local S. Have y'all met the tiny, shiny home people yet? Yeah. Actually, we did. We got to meet them uh, before they... Before they even bought land. Yeah, bought their land out here. They wanted to check out the area. We were on their list of, uh, you know... When they're going through their area, they stopped by. We got to meet them. Super cool family, uh, very nice. And uh, and they, had, they bought they bought some land uh, a little north of us, not too far, maybe about forty five minutes, mm -hmm. I think. 
but we haven't we haven't seen their new plates yet. Maybe someday. Does your RV have an outside shower? No, I don't no, it doesn't. It does. um, your aunt, when she had a trailer, that had like an outside yeah. shower. I thought that was interesting. Cause I didn't know that was a thing. But <laughs> <laughs> that worked well for her because she got like, well, she built like a little shower stall up there and well, she was able to like wash her dogs, I think. Yeah. I think she was going to use it for a shower because she had her inside shower all full of stuff. Yeah, she's using that as a closet. <laughs> uh, man, it would be nice to have like an outdoor shower type thing. Oh, Elaine. Elaine, thank, thank you. you so much. Favorite channel, hands down. Wow. Wow, thank you for the, for the super chat and the compliment. Yeah. <laughs> uh, man, I was just thinking like how cool would it be to have that like a... Uh, hose or something like that on the outside yeah unfortunately we don't have that mm -hmm. right. <laughs> whoa denise 60 dollars super chat uh thanks for all the inspired work you're doing god oh, bless my goodness. i am beside myself <laughs> thank you for that that's wow i'm blown away over here <laughs> Omega Royal says someone thumbs down. Always someone oh. thumbs down. <laughs> we can't avoid it. I think that, that probably have a thumb down before we even went live. <laughs> like thumbs down on this. I would love to, I would love to do a crew cam, but he's he's outside somewhere doing something. He's guarding the place. Is he always? I think he's napping. <laughs> what crew napping? Say it isn't so. Is he protecting us? And we got the uh, the sun catcher right over there. Yeah. Behind the poo. <laughs> <laughs> Penny Non Nation videos. Do you, do you got the dome windows planned out yet? Well, kind of. Because um, most of them are going to be bottle windows. Um, and then we have a couple that were gifted to us or like regular rectangular windows so I don't I guess it depends on what bottles we acquire we have quite a bit do you think we have enough already I don't know that's tough to say I'll just use what we have I guess it's tough to say because uh you like a lot of clear bottles for um for some of those bottle windows, right? Yes. So, to let in more light. The Dragon Clan loves their channel. Aww, well, thank you so much, Dragon you. Clan. Thanks to you. I've got my derby style. If, if you think we'll need to bring in any water this year. What do you think? Is this drought gonna last another year? Yeah, we'll see. It's, it was dry we'll see how the um, we'll see how it goes. But hopefully, hopefully not. Hopefully, we'll get a bunch of rain. Yeah, I think once the gutters are up and we get that this big roof piped into the cistern, like we should be able to catch a lot. Just if we get like a few decent rainstorms. Mm -hmm. Thumbs down from traditional builders and happy you're not giving them money. I know, right? <laughs> I was worried about the uh, I was worried about the water tank industry. If people would come down hard on us for showing you can build your own oh, cistern. Oh <laughs> Get on them gutters. I will, Junior. I will. Knock it out. David Hamilton says, my wife and I have been following you a long time and love both your ambition and Jessica's creative mind. I'm looking forward to the completion. Well, thank you so much. Thanks. Nice. Sue asks, are you going to have some windows that you can open up? 
Uh, yeah. That'll be our south-facing window, right? Yep. And that'll be the only one, right? Yep. But we do, well, uh, so that'll be the only window that opens up, but we will have vents that will allow for airflow as well mm -hmm. throughout the dome. Yeah. Another super chat. Reading Matt, thank you very much. You. Appreciate what you guys are doing. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Have you watched My Little Homestead? They're in easy also. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're a huge inspiration for us. Yeah. Very nice family. We haven't got to meet them, but We've maybe been one watching day. We've been watching them for years. <laughs> what do you guys think of a Quonset hut in that type of environment? What do you think? I'm not sure I know what a Quonset hut is. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, got, you got me. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know. We haven't looked into that. Is it anything like a yurt? Is it? Yeah. Is it kind of like a round? Um, because I don't think yurts would be super great out here. Mm -hmm. hmm. Neil Young says, "Love your channel from Chatham, Kent, UK." Oh, cool! Thank you. Green Dream Project, have you checked out Back to the Earth channel? I have. Mm -hmm. Bubba Redneck, just put a shower outside. Used them when I grew in Honolulu. I put a privacy fence around mine. Patchy Smith says, I would love to send you all some of my herbal tea mix. Ooh, herbal tea. Denise says, my yurt held up to 70 mile an hour winds. Wow. So how does the yurt hold up in the, with the heat? That's what I, one thing I was considering, like, mm. the heat. I'm thinking with the cold, you could just do like a stove or rocket mass heater or something like that. Is your dome going to have a second floor? Yeah, oh. we'll probably have like a loft area. Yeah, that's what we're moving to. We're moving up. We'll probably have something like that. I think that's what we're kind of working on now. Because if we do, some of our plans would require us to do a bond beam to make the top of the dome stronger. So that's kind of what we're planning on right mm -hmm. now. Doing some calculations and price checks and stuff. Yeah. How's the gardening going? What's been planted? Um, I don't really plant much or anything. Hmm. Well, there, <laughs> I guess there is some little volunteer plants that popped up. Um, and I kind of moved some of those around. I'm thinking like the, I'm just going to keep the little garden space we have now, which is not a lot of room, but maybe I'll focus on just growing some herbs in there. And of course, uh, the trees soon, right? Yeah, trees will won't be going in the garden, but <laughs> but it'll be something we plant them. Yeah. Shout out to Thirteen Moons, great job moderating. All of our moderators yes. do a really good job out there. Yeah, you're awesome. Uh, Bubba Redneck sent us an email. Did you see that? We'll check that. We'll check that. You were just going through our emails earlier, right? Yeah. So maybe we got it afterwards. Do the lower forms stay in till completion? Yes. Yeah, that'll be probably one of the last thing we do for uh, with the dome, right? Yep. Once it's all built and probably got probably got the inside covered then we'll probably pull the forms out cross your fingers 
Sharon says, hi from Utah. I love your channel. Both of you have great minds and talent. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Joseph with the soup, $10 super oh, chat. Thank you. I can't wait to see how you'll do final finished, like sealing the cob, reframing the windows, earthen floors, dividers for rooms, etc. It's been great so far, but I think the coolest stuff is yet to come. I agree. I agree with that. I'm excited, I, about, I'm excited about all that. A lot of the interior work. Because we're going to be probably building a lot of like furniture and stuff. Mm -hmm inside a lot of built-in stuff a lot of custom-made stuff interior stuff i wish it'd be fun yeah wow. but it means we'll be busy for a while even <laughs> after the doves are done ah. Ninety Nine Nation video says, "Stoked to see you to complete the dome. Gives me some strength in saving up for my own startup. I live for your channel. So thank you very much. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, uh, I'm glad that people are finding uh, a lot of inspiration with this build and the things we're doing out here. You know, if it can encourage people that things can be done. Yeah, little by little, you know, like even a massive project like this can can get done. Two people can do it." Well, we'll see. Because we haven't done it yet. Uh, <laughs> we will. We'll get it done. Flavia says, nice job with the cleanup. Looking forward to tree planting and egg gathering. Need more grubs. <laughs> yeah. The cleaning process, I think, is going to be kind of ongoing. There's a lot to kind of clean up and organize. Mm -hmm. But kind of doing that like little by little. What do you think about a rammed earth couch? Oh, that's an interesting idea. <laughs> yeah. Andrew says, you, you inspired me to purchase 40 acres in Ash Fork. Oh, wow. Cool. Very cool. Peach Life says, I'm looking for work in Arizona. I'm maybe there before winter hopefully not sure what town has more work what would you say like if, if you're gonna be in like southern arizona uh might be good if you're uh within commuting distance of like tucson right yeah like or like a bigger city. so always, there's always going to be more opportunities around bigger cities so yeah like tucson phoenix um well, Flagstaff maybe in the north. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you get to like our area and opportunities like that might be a little tougher to come by. Um, that's not to say you can't always make your own opportunities. Like if you're a handyman or something like that. Uh, people always need stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Good mechanic. Are you worried about when you're 20 feet off the ground? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, if it's windy, for sure. I'm not too bad with heights, though. I'm not really afraid of heights. But... I'm afraid of falling. <laughs> well, that's a good fear to have, probably. <laughs> Sometimes I get vertigo at certain heights. I haven't gotten it yet. But um, we'll see when it gets taller. But that, that's a, a pretty nice area to walk. I mean, those bags are almost two feet wide. And I feel pretty comfortable up there with the width of those bags. Yeah. Yeah, it is pretty good. Now, the trick that, that well, the thing is, it gets a little trickier when there's barbed wire up there. Not too bad. But when the bags are soft, after they when they haven't been tamped yet, that is... That's a little trickier to walk on. Mm. Be able to straw underwear. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Or like a giant. Oh yeah, balloon. yeah, that might be good for safety. Uh, Billis, how do you handle trash out there? We try not to make any. Yeah. <laughs> basically uh usually when we do get a little bit of trash we'll usually take it with us 
next time we run some errands we'll jump it in uh one of the garbage cans out there usually we only have like a couple bags a couple small bags of trash yeah yeah we don't make a lot of trash no. if we have like sometimes maybe we'll have bigger loads that might collect of things over time maybe we'll have to take that to the dump but out of the years we've been here i mean what do we make maybe one maybe two yeah not a lot Actually, we probably picked up more from the dump than we dropped off. Bah! <laughs> <laughs> Remember all those bags of paper we picked oh, up? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. building with paper. <laughs> picked up so many bags of shredded paper. What are your plans for flooring? Anthony wants to know. Uh, so around the edges of the interior, we'll probably be doing an earthen floor. And then over the OSB, you were kind of thinking of with a two by four ends, right? The ends, the and, end grain, grain, and grain wood. Blocks. And grain some, blocks. Some kind of recycled wood. <laughs> Far Point Station <laughs> asks, uh, has a guest used the poop bucket for number two yet? Uh, hmm. Thank you for the $2 super chat, by the way. Um, I don't know. I, well, we have had people living with us that have used the bucket. Oh, I guess. But does that count as guests? Well, now, because they're not living here anymore. <laughs> okay. So they were a guest at the time. All right. So she's Sabrina. Hey, guys. Loving the progress. Dropped in to say hello and smash that thumbs up. Well, thank you so much, Sabrina. CB's Greenhouse and Garden. Sup, everyone. All I can say is you two have done one heck of a job on this build. Just wanted to drop in and say hello. You have many chores to get done. I know you're busy. I know you're busy out there. Thanks for stopping in. DES is hiring all over the state, and they're adding to their at-home office workers. But yeah, we are, what course did we just finish? 14. 14th course. Ah, oh, my goodness. Making amazing progress. So we are, what do you say, just over seven and a half feet tall now on the outside? And we're about to cover that gothic arch form. It's crazy exciting. Yeah, we're going to be up past like, all the forms soon. Yep. Uh, we'll probably be about to cover that gothic arch form. And then... And then if we have that new uh, Roman arch form that we're just going to be starting. But that, that'll that be done like that. Because what is that? 12 inch... That, that's a 12 inch height form, right? Oh, yeah. It's small. It's small. It, it'll be done... <laughs> How many buildings are you planning on putting up? Well, right now we're just focusing on the house. So this dome and another dome, and that should be it for a little oh, while. Um, we, I'm, I feel like we'll probably always be building something. There's always something that's going to be building. It's but... going to be smaller structures, maybe greenhouses and things like that, animal enclosures. And even once we're done building the dome, I mean, it's going to take a while before everything's, like, completely done. And it's going to be an ongoing project for a while. Yeah. For Especially sure. our plans. we got to make things very labor-intensive and physical. <laughs> I'm excited. Uh, reading Matt of $5 Super Chat. Please keep providing great content and turning out such volume. Well, thank you thank so much you. for the super chat. We're going to try. With the walls already up, can you put in geothermal tubes? Uh, probably not at this point. I guess we could probably for could. the East Dome. You think we could for the one we're working on now? I mean, we'd have to, like, bust through the ball. Bah, I guess. We probably could I guess it's always that. possible. It yeah. wouldn't be super easy though 
Can you use old billboard tarps to catch rain? We could. Yeah, that's definitely something I'd want to try. Possibly. Uh, Marcus Aurelius, $25 super chat. Thank you so much. Hey guys, I really enjoy watching and always look forward to the weekly progress. You're doing a fantastic job. Thank you so Thank much you. for that generous super chat. Zachary Rivera asks, how long before you guys move in? <laughs> well, we might kind of start to move in as soon as the uh, West Dome is done. Just kind of maybe start moving some things in. Maybe uh, camp out in there. Kind of camp out in there. Maybe it's like our hangout spot. Yeah. Honestly, we don't spend too much time inside anyway. Um, but it might be a nice break from the heat. TKS, are you going to build Jessica a dome art studio? You want a dome studio? Yeah. <laughs> well, there might be, uh, are you, did you section out of a space inside the dome for a studio? Is that what the what loft is going to be? That might be what the loft is, but it might be nice to have like a whole dome for studio space uh now you've given her ideas ah. thank you <laughs> uh sabrina says sorry i have to go but you guys make my heart smile be careful out there thank you so much thank sabrina you. a geodesic dome studio 13 moon said mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Maybe Who instead knows? of a greenhouse. <laughs> David says, I'm here in Vermont saying hi. Hello. Hello, David. Oh. So I'm looking at really old uh, comments here. <laughs> uh, Clazy said Quonset huts are like, Hard side, high tunnels for gardening, only much larger and longer. Very durable. Oh. I gotcha. A dome, art, a dome art studio is my dream. That is why I asked. Ah. Farpoint Station, thank you for the super chat. Uh, please share a little known fact about the poop bucket. A little <laughs> hmm. I don't know. You think of one. Uh, <laughs> upside and downsizing. Hey, 5 p.m. is just a little too early, especially in the summer. I know. I know. Uh, so much daylight. So much time to get things done. No worries, y'all. We're glad you made it. Back to the Earth says, thank you for being an amazing and honest inspiration. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. David asks, does Jessica have any Native American heritage? Asking. Uh, that's been brought up before. Um, I mean, likely there's some. Um, but not well documented, and I don't think it's it, a large part of my heritage. So, um, I am mostly, mostly have English ancestry and Japanese. So, I'm a mix. I think Farpoint Station is interested in the, uh, in the poop bucket. I, we actually have, uh, we've done a couple of videos in the past talking about, talking about the human who are composting and building it and stuff like that. Definitely check that out. How much water in your concrete container? Um, if you're talking about the cistern, not much, not much water. Still haven't gotten that much rain. But I'll let you know if we get when we get a really heavy rainfall and we got something to catch it with. Where'd you get those goggles? Uh, order them online. Yeah, uh, you can also get them right from Home Depot. But it's the DeWalt, and uh, I've been liking them so far. I think the tint, the tint is just enough where like 
if you're in the bright sunlight, it kind of blocks a little bit of that, but it's not so dark where if you go into the shade, it's like you're completely blocked out. Uh, doesn't fog. People have asked about that. Doesn't fog up. And fairly comfortable. After wearing it for hours, yeah, it'll kind of dig into the face a little bit, but not nothing too bad. Now, you actually just uh, recently got uh, ordered yourself a pair of goggles. I ordered some. So much cooler looking. <laughs> well, for me, it's uh, function. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. okay. Uh, <laughs> ain't about being cool, all right? If I was worried about being cool, I wouldn't be doing a lot of the things I did. <laughs> all right, you fix your gutter yet? Nope, not quite yet, but I'll be getting there. I probably got to put in an order for supplies. I don't have all the supplies I need. Um, but we might have to be getting more supplies, so I might have an order delivered. I might get more gutters at that point. Uh, yeah, I think it was someone surprised I was Japanese. Is that surprising? Is that surprising? <laughs> yeah. My mom was actually born in Tokyo. Whoa. And she came to the U.S. when yeah. she was a baby. Um, wow. Vanilla Bright says, I was looking for info in Phoenix about possible water meter changes in the townhome association I live in. Found out Phoenix allows for no water harvesting except drainage schemes to rehydrate soil. I did not know that. Oh, yeah. I know, like, Tucson encourages it, but, wow. Surprise. Helen Johnson, thank you so much for the uh, $20 super chat. Oh, thank you, Helen. North Star Prep Service says, hey, good evening. Sorry, I'm late working a lot. We know how it is. Don't worry. It's getting warmer up there. Sun's out. A lot of people are busy. You look like Boba Fett with the goggles on. Oh, <laughs> you just made my dream come true. That's it. Now my head's now my head's growing ten times the size. Oh, ah. <laughs> Expect some Boba Fett stuff in the uh, <laughs> not the next video, but I'll probably the upcoming video I'll probably be like. <laughs> now I got Boba Fett in my head. <laughs> Denise asks any new T-shirt designs. We'll have to work on that. I think we have ideas, but um, between all the other stuff, it's kind of tough meaning it out. But I think we got ideas. We just got to lay it out. Yeah. We should work on that though. Huh? The t-shirt designs are fun. Texas stole most of our range this year. Unbelievable. Oh. Texas. Ah! <laughs> Give them back. You guys have wind power or are thinking about harnessing all that wind? I wouldn't oh. be opposed to it uh, down the road. But I think I prefer to buffer the wind more, especially like around the house and where we're going to be because it's kind of brutal sometimes. Oh, this person says Texas didn't get any rain drought here. Mm. I think it's been bad for uh, like the Southwest. Yeah. <laughs> The Texas people are uh, they're uh, arguing against that <laughs> assertion of stealing the rain. <laughs> like, well, uh, what? we didn't see any of that stolen rain. <laughs> AJ's Outdoors. Hi, Jim and Jessica. At least I made it to the tail end of your live video. Uh, thank oh, you so much, Art. Thanks, Art. We appreciate you being here. Uh, you have anything there? As you want to bring up it's our time mm, okay uh quick 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 quick, uh, quick. Uh, what is going to be done with the motorhomes when you move into the dome home 
Good question. Uh, we'll probably end up keeping them. Like that'll probably end up staying like like a man cave type thing. But this one will probably kind of shut down. Uh, maybe use it for guests or or maybe like people working out here or something like that. Maybe you want to stay here. My biggest concern is like rodents yeah. and how to keep rodents out. We'll have to like seal it up pretty well. But that is it our time is up everyone uh this hour goes by quick thank you guys so much for joining us we really appreciate it <laughs> uh saturday's video should be exciting we're getting another course done i uh, guys can't wait to show you the progress it's looking amazing uh thank you so much to our moderators there in blue always do such an amazing job here thanks to our moderators thank you very much Thank you to all those super chats, man. I'm just blown away. Yes. Unbelievable, you guys. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. <laughs>